Hi, I'm Alex Becker, along with Ishan Parik and um, Alex Maluk, and welcome to Pardon the Eruption. Now, we have a huge debate here in basketball. You have two of the greatest of all time. You have Michael Jordan or LeBron. Now, Alex, who do you consider is better? Personally, I would say Michael Jordan. You, you look at the era he's played in, you see Matumbo, you see Ewing, you see even the bad boy Pistons who you could just go and do a game and they would break your back without even just like uh, worrying about it. And they'd be just smashed by basketball. And that's not kind of the era that LeBron's played in. LeBron's played in the, the softer, the, the foul hunting area. And you also look at, MJ played a lot of better teams. You played the bad boy Pistons, you played the Rockets, you played so many other, you played the Hawks with the Timbo, you played the Knicks with Ewing and, and uh, John Starks. You see that he was much more competitive. He really cared about it more. And even at LeBron's age, right now at 36, he played all 82 games uh, in the season for the Wizards. Meanwhile, you look at LeBron, who's played maybe 50, 60 games for the Lakers, and I see that LeBron's just not caring anymore. I got to go LeBron on this one. Uh, he leads the entire NBA to all-time points. He's sure he doesn't have this amount of rings as NJ, but you look at what MJ was doing with the Wizards at the end of his career, he was averaging 20 a game in his 15th year. LeBron's over here about ahead his 20th year, getting 28 points a game. I got to go LeBron on this one. And you say he played, MJ played better teams. LeBron played one of the best teams of all time and won. So I got to go LeBron on this one. Um, I feel your, your point out there about all-time points is a little, little off because LeBron has played for 25 years. Of course, he's going to have the most points. And also, if, if you look at the broader aspect of the game, MJ has made his teammates better. He, he's, he's brought uh, Rodman in. He's made him better. He's actually, he even went to Vegas before the uh, finals and got him out of Vegas to bring him back to the game and made him better. He, he made Pippen better. And then also, if you look, the, a player who's the greatest of all time does not say he's the greatest of all time. LeBron is going around and saying that I'm the GOAT, I'm the GOAT. Michael Jordan just just plays basketball. Michael Jordan does say that he has the greatest teams of all time, though. Not to mention, um, LeBron, he, I mean, the Cavs drafted Kyrie, right? So he made, he helped Kyrie become the Kyrie that we know. Obviously, not with the toxicity, but like with the ball handling and finishing that we know and love from Kyrie Irving. So you can say the same thing about LeBron. He, he has uh, four rings right now, correct? Mm-hmm. You look at 2016, you see the shot that Seth Curry missed in Game 7 to, to lose the Finals. He makes that over Kyrie, he has three. Uh, with the Heat, he was ring chasing then with Chris Bosh and prime Dwayne Wade. If Chris Bosh doesn't get a rebound, that's two rings. And then his, his Finals record is not as good as, as Michael Jordan's and I don't think it ever will be. I mean, you can look at Finals record, but I mean, Bill Russell won so many rings, why is he not in the debate discussion? Because if you look at the era he played at, he's playing handyman. There was no, there was no also three point line with t where other teams can you know, use a little, little advantage over him. Well, that does it here for Pardon the Interruption. I'm Alex Becker along with Alex Malouk and Sean Parikh. And thank you for watching as we see you on to the next episode.